Okay, last time I did Ramstein, it was really hard to find a mental health meeting. So here's the hoping. Okay, so this ramps. Let's go. Ich leb alleine schon viele Jahre. Das Leben stumpf, der Alltag grau. Verlier Geduld, Verstand und Haare. Ich hätte gerne eine Frau und die Hoffnung will mir schwinden, eine Partnerin zu finden, okay. die mir ebenbürtig ist. Nein, da ist kein Glück in Sicht. Sie muss okay, so he's looking, he's looking for love. He's looking for love. He's looking for a partner who is co-equal to me. But there's no luck in sight. Okay. You guys, how am I gonna make that mental health? Hold on. If we could do this song, we could do anything. He is not saying she doesn't have to have any of these things. She doesn't have to be smart. She doesn't have to be beautiful. She just has to have big tits. Tits. My dude, I need you to get some new criteria. Oh. As soon as I saw the girl milking the cow, I was like, oh, where is this going? Oh, no. Oh no! Aus der Seele tropft das Blut. And now look at the girls surrounding him. Okay. Als ich Trost sind kleine Hunde. Ein feines Fräulein wäre gut. Ein feines Fräulein wäre toll. Ich bin auch gar nicht anspruchsvoll. Ich bin auch gar nicht wählerisch. Am Is that the song like slaps? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not demanding it all, but big boobs would be great. <laughs> mental health, mental health, mental health, mental health. Okay. We should feel comfortable to explore our sexual preferences. That's so important. And I don't think there are enough safe spaces out there to talk about sex. I even know with my clients that they're oftentimes afraid to talk about sex. And it's not until they feel really comfortable with me in a safe, confidential space that they're able to bring it up. So we should be able to explore our sexual preferences. But when our sexual preferences start to dictate all of the decisions that we make in our life, instead of clues become clues about what we're looking for, 
are, what we might be interested in, that is something that we should examine. I'm having fun. Also, like he's like, I'm looking for a lady with big boobs. Where could she be? Bro, they're literally all around you. What do you mean? She's sitting right next to you. What? What? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes what we're looking for is right in front of us, but we're blind. Doesn't have to feed me grapes. Oh, he literally is blind. Oh, he actually is. Like he. Oh, now I feel bad. I didn't mean to. I didn't realize that. The dichotomy in this song is too much. It's too much. Or the contrast. <laughs> I'm sick. This is hilarious. <laughs> I love metal because the, the one thing about metal music is it's not afraid to push the boundaries. It's not afraid. It's like, just say the thing that no one else is going to say. To just hit right on the line. Okay. So, here's the thing. We're going to make this song applicable to your mental health if it's the last thing I freaking do today. Okay? I often see people have s prioritized superficial preferences over actual requirements for compatibility. I see it all the time. Like that trending TikTok song. Run the clip. I'm looking for a man in IT. Dad bod, 5'10, glasses, thick thighs. Big guy, plaid shirt, khakis, brown eyes. IT, dad bod, 5'10, glasses, thick thighs. Big guy, plaid shirt, khakis, brown eyes. IT, dad bod. It's a different version of the same thing. I genuinely get the heart behind it. It's like, I'm looking for a hot man who can provide for me. I want to be taken care of. That's probably what's underneath it. But there, that's an insecurity. That's a fear. That's like, I'm afraid that I won't be able to take care of myself. And maybe it's a desire, right? It could be both. But also when we think about this, it's like, why does this man want someone with big tits? What does that validate about him? Sexual preferences often point to areas in our life that we most want validation for. And this goes for men and women. If you are prioritizing having someone who looks a certain way over someone who is a certain way, if you're prioritizing someone with big tits over someone who's smart and kind, if you're prioritizing a man who's 6'5 over someone who is able to support you emotionally and is respectful to you, like that is for you to look at. We all have that thing. And it actually gives us a clue to our wounding. I've had that thing in my life where I like, want to be with a hat man covered in tattoos. Maybe he plays in a band. I don't know. And so I will prioritize that. And then I will forgive areas where we're not actually compatible because of my desire that is based off of an insecurity with me, in me. Because I think if I have that, then that means I am worthy, right? That's the stripped down version. It's not exactly like that, right, you guys? But Maybe this man feels like if I have this woman with big boobs, then that means I'm hot. That means I'm attractive. I think we all have that superficial desire that trumps actual compatibility. And the gift of that song is giving us a, like, we're laughing at this, right? But where should you actually be laughing at what you're, you're prioritizing? What is your dicky tin, right? And what's funny about that is we are laughing at this video and we are the guy that's blind in the video, right? Because we don't see that actually 
what we're looking for might be around us if we just open our eyes. We don't see that we are the ones that have this superficial desire that might be trumping actual compatibility. So open your eyes. What is the thing? Get real with yourself. Ask yourself the question and, and then get, get, get underneath it. Okay, why? Do I feel like this validates something about me? Does this come from a place of pain or does this come from a place of purity? And I don't mean purity in, in like the sexual sense. I mean like, like pure heartedness. Does this come from a pure desire or a desire made out of pain, made out of insecurity, made out of fear, made out of a, a desire for validation? You know what's cool about our community is that we get to talk about stuff like this. We get to talk about the things that people are afraid to talk about. And we want you, we want to train you to talk with people about anything, about desires and about their suicidal thoughts. We want to be that place and we want you to do that with us. And we will train you on how to be a volunteer so that you can support someone and talk with them about anything. Click the link below to sign up, please. It would mean a lot and you get to help other music bands and other metal lovers. So just click the link. It's like one hour a week and we give you an awesome training. At the very least, this training is going to make you a better friend to the people in your life. And at best, you might get to help a stranger and change their life. We hear so many success stories about you saying this made me decide to stay another day. That is the power of support in this community. So do it. Okay. I love you guys.